Hey guys, I'm trying to find out where the wind's coming from. It's whipping. Um, the winds are supposed to pick up. It was 68 today was the high, and tomorrow the high is supposed to be 80 degrees. And the winds are supposed to pick up, but by the time uh, Easter rolls around, it's supposed to be really nice for the children. So that's really cool. Um, uh, wow. Interesting day. Very interesting day. Oh my, is he tripping or something? I left the door open for him. He's gonna yell at me while I'm going. I'm going to check the mail right now. I found a movie in the library called The Message. I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on a minute. <coughs> Thank you. Um, uh, I, uh, trying to spit it out. I said thank you for all the people who said bless you. You know, there are many people that's a very cultural norm. You, you say it's how the wood are. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm just, yeah. You know, okay, never mind. But, um, uh, yeah, with Anthony Quinn playing, it said it took seven years to make, uh, playing uh, the Prophet Muhammad. And uh, I'm going to go watch. I'll tell you what I think of it, guys. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I really like Anthony Quinn a lot. Never heard of it, which I think is probably a good sign. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to go watch it tonight. I also got the Joylet Club because I want to watch it again. And um, I forgot to take the other ones back in, which is the same. So I'd sure like to get Monsieur, uh, Monsieur uh, Lazar back in there. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm good. And uh, all right, how are you guys doing? No, I didn't get a pickup out of time. Um, the guy that came in right before me who made the idea to go pick up and get the movies grabbed it. And it doesn't matter anyway because I've seen that movie before. And it was better that I grabbed the Joylight Club so I can reconnect to certain things there and look at it deeper and get, and get the the message with Anthony Quinn about the proper Muhammad. Those are the movies I was supposed to get. I was supposed to sit here crushing like some schoolboy. You know what I'm saying? So it's about time I did a little more growing up, acted a little bit more mature, practice what I preach. You know what I'm saying? So how y'all doing? All right, nice to hear. <laughs> a lot of people doing good. I'm being mean. I can see that. Yeah, it's it's like almost it's not even funny anymore. You're right, and it's not. I got angry because it's just like, boom. You got. Well, I had to go off. It's like all you want to do is sit here and be told what to think, how to think, and when to think it, and then eat, drink, drive a car, and, and watch porn or get late. And I'm like, and then run around griping, there is no God or life wouldn't suck so much. Well, it sucks because you're told not how to think. <laughs> so your, your, your creativity is completely stifled, your intelligence is completely limited, and you're pissed. Which makes sense. I was lucky. I grew up in a home which was the exact opposite. I would grew up in a home that it was weird, man. I grew up in a weird home. It was like this. My aunt Francis says we put the fun in dysfunctional. And oh boy, howdy, we did. <laughs> but uh, it's weird because there was a lot of suppressiveness, anger, and abuse mixed in with a lot of hope. It's really weird, man. I grew up really weird, but my parents were a good combination for a boy. I don't know how good of a combination they were for a young girl growing up, but for a boy, and I always told my sister this, it just worked out perfectly. Uh, my dad is a good man with good, strong values, but his communication skills, uh, especially with women, were lacking. But luckily for me, I had a mom with excellent analysis ability, good communication skills, and four sisters. <laughs> they worked out perfect. I couldn't have worked out any better if I had planned it. <laughs> it was just like, wow, you know. And my sisters, <laughs> full of crap. The whole thing about, yeah, you know, lady joked about that at the library today, you know, the whole thing. Girls aren't interested in the same thing guys are interested in now. Guys are only about sex and girls aren't interested in sex. Liars. <laughs> Liars. <laughs> they smell of beef and cheese. <laughs> Just kidding. Women like sex. Yeah, they do. Oh, uh, yeah. If they didn't like sex, we wouldn't have as... No. <laughs> Women like sex. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Liars. <laughs> it's just... No. Women like sex. Yeah. Uh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, my ex liked it too much. <laughs> Holy cow. I haven't checked the mail. Oh, there's a box in here, too. 
I haven't checked the mail in about a week because I've been too distracted. I'm going to set this down, guys. Okay, hold on. Of indoctrination now, man. Tons of it. And it's just like, oh, crazy. I mean, they're just. They won't leave my poor pops alone. I mean, he gets so much propaganda through the mailbox. It's just like, wow. Well, a lot of the groups he subscribes to and gives money to um, uh, just bombard him, you know, with their agendas. And it's painful. You know, I grab it and I read it like, holy cow. Yowzo, no wonder Dad has trouble analyzing a lot of stuff with all the information and misinformation he's getting. There's some good and there's some bad and ugly and everywhere. But unless they're really intelligent and really good at analysis and cutting through bullshit, it's just going to confuse you and make you really angry. Yeah, sounds like me. Yeah, sounds like my pops too. Yeah, okay. Sounds like a lot of us. A lot of us. I'm confused and really pissed off. What do you want to do? Masturbate. <laughs> Getting around. That's funny. Go away, Carrie. No, leave me alone. No, seriously. I love Jim Carrey, man. I have a strong spiritual connection to that man. I don't know why. I have to kick him out of my head and my head. He gives me a backache. No, seriously. I mean, he's so just intense. I don't even know how he functions. It's just his natural biological functioning state. It's just how I am, person. Get over it. Get with it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> That's how he is. Do something funny. Okay, here we go. All right. He's just like, what? You do something funny. You're better at it. No, you, you do a pretty good job, Parsons. Especially just open your mouth. Watch. Okay, there we go. That's funny. No, seriously. I don't like you anymore. No, I love Jim Carrey. No, seriously. Yeah, no. I can use with Jim Carrey because I love the man. Oh, man, I adore him. He's funny as... No, hell's not funny anymore, Jim. We don't know. Me and Sandler decided that yesterday and we're more Jew than you and... Where the Jews taking over the world. <laughs> We're fulfilling the protocols of science. <laughs> Knock it off. Oh, God, not the two of you. You like buddies now, friends, working together? Yeah, you going to be old Jim Kirk on one of the skits on uh, uh, Living Color? Huh? Huh? Jim? Damn it, Jim. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Got you quiet now. Trying to double team me. Huh? You're giving me a headache. It's like Chong and Marin at the same time. Man, guys, leave me alone. I'm a telekinetic. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Why? Because I'm not this funny on my own. No. No, man. I have to stop. But if the Brian Regan, little man, moo hair over there, isn't convincing enough for any of you people, and the man kept it almost strictly G-rated, but except for Earl, 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 Earl. Thanks for calling me Earl. That's cool. Holy family calls you Earl. Love you too, Brian. But I didn't know Brian was Mormon. He's more a man than I. Knock it off! I'm gonna hurt you, Reagan. No snow. Get out of right field. Hit to the bench. The bench. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love that man. I do. It's not like that. No. That man that keeps calling me a yeah, oral gratifier, Jewish oral gratifier. You're a Jewish oral gratifier pencil. Uh, pencil. Uh, what do we call it? Pencil member. Okay. Not a gold member, pencil member. Means I can write with it. That seems like an odd talent. Yeah, it does. I don't want that talent. I don't want that talent either, Brian. That's just weird. That man should stop talking to people unless he can be nicer. I agree. I agree. Someone was mean to him. I agree. How do we stop that? Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you came and ran Sandler and carry away. Like the nice Mormon man. Why? It's more a man than the other two. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you're sorry. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. Okay. Is this like a... Are you like the male relief society? <laughs> I, oh, no. We can't hang with the relief... No, can't hang with the relief society. Wouldn't want to try. No. Get hurt. Yep. You never messed with a Mormon mom. Sister Phelps. Yeah, we have to stand in the middle of the room and sing how we love our brother. I don't want to hug Carrie. He might try to kiss me. Now, I'll hug Sandler. Yeah, you hug Carrie. No? Okay. Sorry, Jim. No one wants to hug you. Now get out of here. You're giving me a headache still. No, I love you too. <laughs> this is cool. I was totally not... I shut up. Totally not expecting this. Funny people. God, it's crazy. You guys know the Pinkett Smiths, I take it. Okay. Yeah, I was having a conversation with his wife on the way home. I really like his wife. In a strictly platonic sort of way, except for she's extremely hot. and uh, 
Yeah, that's 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 difficult to conceptualize. Yeah, it is. It's hard, isn't it, Brian? Yeah, what do you do? And yeah, it's not. I wish I had Will's girl. It's nothing like that. She's too irritating. God, she's just pretty and fun and spunky, and she just makes you. Just as long as she doesn't kill Will and brings him much happiness, that makes us happy. She went good Will hunting, and poor Will. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's, that is okay. It's don't blame me. No, it's Sandler, it's Sandler, Regan, and 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 and, and, and Carrie. Yeah, Jada. No, be nice to me, Jada. Jada, be nice. You already got me this morning. I forgot I'm about to go back and listen to it. Yeah, you. She. Yeah. Don't make Jada mad. She'll come back and get you, Mimi. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta open the door. Just a second. How's he? What's up, bro? How you feeling? Yeah, you, oh, that's right, I forgot I got jumped on by a beautiful girl dog at the park. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's let him sneak in the position. Let him smell me. Go ahead, Zeke. You may smell me now. No, you just want to go straight to the, straight to the rub, man. Straight to the rub, dog. You know the position, you know what to do. You were out hoeing around, I'd like you to take care of me right now. That's better. No, about two more minutes of this. You serious? Man, she didn't, she just barely jumped on me twice, man. Her peeps said it was not acceptable behavior, and I helped correct her. She was really pretty, you'd have liked her. All right, I am not a dog sled. Shut up, Carrie. I know, no, don't blame it on Regan. Regan wouldn't say that. No, he would say, a, what, a dog, madam? <laughs> That's funny. Knock it off. No, I'll be later. Hold on. You want out, bro? Hold on. One once in, one once out. She's coming in. He's going out. He's going to go sniff her. She's going to assume the position. Zeke, knock it off. You're terrible. You, you, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go in here into the bathroom. We'll finish this one up. And then, uh... We'll talk about something else after I watch the movie on the proper moment. Sound like a play? I'm probably pretty good. I got a little headache, but I'm, I'm doing all right without sunglasses. I like to look at you guys, and I like you to see me eyeballs. Um, it hurts a little bit, but uh, I, I'm, you got to have faith in mankind, man. If you don't, um, you might as well just give up all hope right now. You know what I'm saying? This is my, you know, way of showing some hope and faith in you guys. Okay? Oh, you know that one with Tony? Yeah, your friends. Yeah, my friends. His love. Oh, that's all. Good, 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 good. I'm wearing my shoes. It's okay. He says it's all right. I need to focus. Okay. Um, Islamic Countries, the movie, The Man from Out of Tears. Um, uh, he's a very beautiful man. Um, most of the men I've met from foreign countries, from Arabic countries, very beautiful human beings. Very many of them not real angry, real mean, and real aggressive. Um, the ones real mean and real aggressive a lot of times are used in positions because of the anger created, because of the factions, warring faction things created, to continue these warring factions so they can come in and make money off of the fight, and then the oil, and then the, and then the prejudice, and then the division, and then the, the divide us, and then they corrupt us, and then they distract us, and then they go do what they do. That's what's going on. I do look Arabic. That's okay. I'm not Arabic, I assure you. No. Everybody, a lot of people think I am, but I'm not. A lot of people ask me, are you Arabic? Well, technically, I guess, yeah. Why? Well, because I'm part Hebrew from my grandmother's side, and we're closely related, so that means there's Arabic in there also. It's just a different language group, but similar tribe. So, and then technically, you are part Arabic. I guess if you look at it that way, yeah, then I guess I do look Arabic, so that, uh, there's, okay. All right, sorry. Because <laughs> yeah. Hebrews and Arabic are, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty dumb to, <laughs> yeah. Oh, those Jews are bad. All oh, those Arabs are, I oh, know, God, they're, they're related, like, yeah. It's like, uh, let's just do the molecular and relative math on that one. Yeah, you speak a different language than me. You're a moron. <laughs> I didn't know language groups made us morons and more intelligent. Really? So English-speaking people are more intelligent than Japanese-speaking people. Hmm. Yeah. So people that speak Mandarin are less intelligent than people that speak English? Hmm. There's a lot of test scores that prove that to be to the contrary. 
especially with English people in the United States becoming more and more illiterate and, and, and less comprehensive. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. So people that speak Mandarin and people that speak Japanese might be a little bit more intelligent than people that speak English. Hmm. So should we all start speaking Mandarin? How about Japanese? <laughs> Ralph, what? <laughs> Sorry, man. No, I'm just analyzing. Remember that Darius Miles was on that movie, and they were all trying to get a, because he was trying to get a basketball scholarship, and they all trying to cheat on their ASVAB scores, right? Or ACTs or whatever they are. I don't know. ASVAB's military, right? ACT, SATs, right? And there's this Asian guy sitting there, and he's talking about, you know, um, you know, well, what, how, who gets the highest scores? White guys that get in for, no. Asian chicks that watch less than two hours of TV a week. <laughs> Oh, I'm not an Asian chick, but I do watch less than two hours of TV a week. <laughs> How's it going? Does that make me like an Asian chick? You guys find that hot? Are there any Asian chicks out there that find that hot? <laughs> I find Asian chicks really hot. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm watching the Joyland Club. June Waverly, it don't matter. They're all pretty. Especially the moms. The mom that makes the soup. Whoa! Joey Lawrence on that one. Whoa! She... Fine. <laughs> yeah. And the mom who calls the guy a dog fart is very attractive. It's, 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 it's Hollywood, man. They like almost all the women are just like, yeah, wow. Like, yeah, fine. Yeah, you're just like, man, what up? It's, we, uh, okay. <laughs> I, no, wait. You know, it was funny. I remember I sat there and I watched, uh, have you ever seen About Smith? My friends told me to watch it, and he said, oh, God, you got to see uh, uh, Kathy Bates naked. And I'm like, yeah, but you also had to see Jack Nicholson naked, too. Yeah, I, I, it was more disturbing for me to see Jack Nicholson naked than Kathy Bates. Yeah, I, I, she turned me on more than he did. Well, no offense, Jack, but uh, Kathy's more attractive than you. Sorry. It's, it's not that kind of, okay. I'd get a lot more excited if Kathy Bates showed up naked in a hot tub with me than Jack Nicholson. I'll tell you, boy, you guarantee. <laughs> oh, hey, it's just, man, that's just the way I'm wired. Uh, you know, I like boobs better than moops. What about you? I mean, too, yeah. What up? Ralph, I'm very human. I'm trying to teach you guys to be very human and very intelligent, accept people for their human frailties and the situations that I've been manipulated outside of their control. Including the fibers, yeah. Especially including the fibers, because they were. I am a similitude of King David that they wanted to bring down the myth to. They had to get people and then make their lives living hells and manipulate them into the, the, the believing in things that were way beyond possibility and make their lives just beyond the stretch of imagination to put me through what they put me through. They had so much money, so much manipulation, so much technology and stuff working on them. Not one of you should ever sit and judge Peter Fabre, Barbara Rose Fabre, uh, Barbara's mother, and uh, and uh, Amy, Suzanne, and any of those people. No. I was angry when I thought about it today, and then I decided to wake them up and show them what they did to them what they did to them, what the Illuminati did to them, what the U.S. military, sections of the U.S. military did to them, which people that wanted to try to hide from truth and continue baking cartels and the lies and the hideous stuff that we've done over time that we need to put down and put no praise into and put all praise into the practice of the prophets and the apostles like Muhammad and Jesus. Thank you. That was way cool. Who helped me with that one? Oh, thank you, Muhammad. <laughs> Love you, too. I'm going to go watch your movie. It's not your movie. It's a movie about you. Anthony Quinn, one of my favorite actors. You, you like him, too. He's really likable. Yeah, he's cool. I, I like Anthony Quinn. I'm sure there's going to be things I'm going to gripe about, obviously. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things that I, I find really neat and, 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 and beautiful. Well, the man who directs it, I believe, is, is Arab and probably most likely is, yeah, or, you know, is, is Muslim. So that would really help, you know. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to watch it. I love you, too. I love you, too, Isaac. I love you. I love y'all. Thank you. I know. I'm going to go over that, too, that Ralphie's been a bad boy and got his butt kicked by a beautiful woman. I have no idea who the beautiful woman was. No, I, it seems like Jennifer Lopez, but I don't know. I know I know when it's Will's wife. I can just tell. She's excellent at it. She is such an exemplary butt kicker. Gosh, she is. I just love that woman.
kick me again. <laughs> well, I'm getting a lot of his long. Thank you, Layla Ali. Thank you. Thank you. Shut up. No, Jamita Joe, go away. No, Janet Jackson had nothing to do with this. No, I don't. Janet Jackson and Jennifer Lopez do not exist in Ralph Earl Parsons' vocabulary. Now, you're not real. You're cartoon characters. You're the hair bear bunch. Yeah, go, go, go in the Wonderland Zoo and leave me alone. I'm just kidding around. You know what I mean? Eat your ice cream. <laughs> Can I have some? I bought, the, I bought sherbet. I got rainbow sherbet and some root beers to help with my burger tonight while I watch my movie. I'm having a burger and chips, and, and yeah, well, I got it before the lettuce goes bad and the beef. I'll have taquitos with sour cream tomorrow. Thank you, Amy. Say Sam Fabry. Those are atrocious for me, but I become someone to have a slight addiction to them because of you. I appreciate that. I had addiction to a lot of other things with you. You had some. You're, you have a good personality. You're very pretty. You have a wonderful smile big dark eyes and you're very lovely and you have a lot of intelligence in you. I hope it goes into those children. No. <laughs> I, maybe in time we can be on friendly terms. Does that sound good? It's going to be hard to be friends. You are complete. You were manipulated by the I just uh, caught me. I can't stand you. I don't want to like you. I don't want to be friendly with you. You were complete. <laughs> i got to make up with my family. Cause <laughs> Shut up. Bobbery. Never took. You, she took my name for like six months. It just didn't sound as good as Fabre. Her name's Ami Fabre. Am I Ami Suzanne Fabre? Ami Suzanne Parsons. No, it just doesn't sound right. Yeah, and it's really yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, they would know that they wouldn't give her name like Ami Suzanne Parsons. She'd have to. Well, where's your ring? Yeah, couldn't screw around that way. Uh, you were trying. I know. I'm sorry. Just kick you in the shins. You treated me like caca, and you know it. You should. It's all angry elves. <laughs> <laughs> little buddy diapers, too. Knock it off. Is little buddy diaper speaking English? He better be. If he's not speaking English by the time I see you guys and meet you guys and hang out again, he's not comprehending and listening to English and come and give me a hug, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> we'll work it out. I don't know how. It's just going to take time. Oh, if you guys don't do that, I'm going to come and kick your butt. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I miss my kids, and I'm going to have to at least put on a show somehow to show that you guys were mean, evil, and liars to me. Yeah, I got lots of evidence just by what you didn't say. Yeah, you, it's crazy. Any judge and lawyer that when I sit there and point out the obvious, it's going to look like a complete dork. <laughs> you just took it on face value and didn't even investigate anything. Horrid. Yeah. Yeah, just trying to look at Yeah, Gerald Pyle has gone because of it. You guys should really think and analyze better. I love you. I'm trying to help you. I'm very intelligent. I did not know that. Did you know that, Amy? I, I always thought I was lacking in common sense and completely stupid tell. <laughs> no, I knew I wasn't. I was just really nice and just wanted you guys to change or be more intelligent without me having to point it out to you and show you how stupid you were acting. You made me do it. <laughs> it's your fault. You did it. <laughs> Carrie did it. <laughs> Shut up, Carrie. No, Jim, you can blame it on Jim Carrey. Blame it on Sandler. He's mean. Yeah, blame it on Brian. No, Brian Regan's a nice guy. So when snow comes, okay, everybody, snow comes. We're going to look at snow comes. <laughs> I got to go. I'm a delicate. Never mind. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out now, if you don't know me by now, you will never, never, never know me. Mm -hmm. All the things that we've been through, woman, you should understand me like I understand you. Now I know the difference between right and wrong. Yeah, we did something. We tore up that happy home. But don't you get all excited when I come and kick your butt with the truth. You know I'm the living proof, and you want to see me too? Someday we will, maybe. If not, you'll be able to watch these videos. All right? I think I'll be fine, baby girl. Don't worry about it. They, I know they had a prison warrant and killed. And other, yeah, yeah. If I get murdered by somebody, it was a contract and it was a hit, and they know it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we weren't watching. I'm in the surveillance corridor. If it went on later on, it'll be proven that I was murdered. And people had the ability to stop it and didn't do it, so they'll be as guilty. Nobody wants to look like Herod, Pilot, and all the bad guys. It looks bad in the history books. It's going to happen. A thousand years from now, how do you want, how a thousand years from now, how do you want your name to be remembered? Like Peter, Paul, Mary, and Jesus? Or Herod, and Caiaphas, and the other guys? Saul, before Paul. All right, guys, I love you. Yeah, Saul and Paul's a good one. Saul, bad guy. Paul, good guy. 
It could happen. All right, guys. Love you, too. Blessings of be One for Peter, two for Paul, three for the one that made us all. So, yeah. Love you, guys. Blessings of peace.